This golf ball promises to only deliver consistent straight flights. Today, we're gonna to try it out and see if that is the case. Before we try out the flight path tracer ball, guys, though, do make sure you are a subscriber to the channel. Totally free to do. Hit the subscribe button just down here for more interesting views that can help you save money on your golf equipment. Let's get stuck into this review. So this golf ball caught my eye. I purchased it from Amazon because when scrolling through the golf section, its title was that it delivered consistently straight flights. And if I'm a golfer who's struggling to keep my driver straight, my iron straight, I maybe wouldn't expect it to deliver pinpoint straight shots, but I would think that this could be the answer, a quick answer to getting me on the fairway and playing some more consistent golf. So the first thing I want to do with the flight path tracer ball is have a chip and a putt just around the greens, just to test that premium feel and the urethane of the golf ball, just to see if it's feeling like other premium golf balls. I'm maybe expecting it not to because for me, this is all about the straight flight. If I've stumbled across these golf balls and I've seen them, for me, like I say, it's probably the answer I'm looking for to be a bit more consistent. But if you can add that to the package, brilliant. After having a chip and a putt around the green there, I am very, very pleasantly surprised to say that these balls actually felt fantastic. They sounded very much like all the other top premium golf balls. They felt great off the putter face. They felt pretty much like a Pro V1 to me. And even like the sound of them, they sounded good. And then even when I was hitting some chips, yes, it's a little bit wet and a little bit skiddy out here, but I was noticing that there was that grab there and I was noticing that you could get a little bit of check on the chip. So straight away, that first little thing, as a, as a golf ball that's sub 30 pounds, that is a big tick for me straight out of the box. Now I've done that, I want to just test them with an iron. The ultimate test for me is with the driver because I think that's where we're gonna see a lot of people struggle and will probably want these golf balls to come in and save that slice, that hook, that big destructive shot. But I just want to see, get an inclination first to see what they're actually like with irons, short, mid irons, what the flight is like as we start out. This golf ball is actually starting to grow on me. I have seen golf balls like this in the past and we've done reviews on them and they weren't great. They didn't deliver. But even with my iron shots now, I would say, you know, I'm a, a pretty decent iron player and I don't move the golf ball loads in the air. But even when trying to hit little draws, little fades, I was only noticing a couple of yards of movements with, you know, eight irons, seven irons, five irons that we hit around the course here. and they were going pretty straight and still managed to keep that feel that I had from the chip in the putt test as well. So as we're moving up towards the, the big one, like I say, with the driver, I'm feeling positive about these. Before we do do this though, there is normally one stumbling block with a ball like that, and this is distance. So I'm gonna hit some shots in the simulator to see what the carry distance is like with my driver, because sometimes that's where these golf balls fall down. But at the minute, they're stacking up. So we're going to hit 10 golf balls on the simulator now using the GC3. Current driver that I'm using is the TaylorMade QI10. I'm going to see if this golf ball falls down where a lot of these other straight flight gimmicky golf balls do, or will it actually stand up and produce some good numbers? So this golf ball promises it goes straight. It's 30 pounds a dozen. Would you buy it? No. No? No. 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 You, why, why wouldn't you buy it? Because I wouldn't believe it. You don't believe it? No. I don't believe it. Either. Don't believe it. All to do with the swing and the the golfer itself. I'm pretty straight anyway. So okay. Yeah? So it wouldn't, wouldn't I bother you? I can't see how a golf ball straight. can, promise. What about length? Length, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's called Flight Path Tracer. Oh, right. So it's a no and a no. And what handicaps are you guys? 23. 23. 21. 21. 
Interesting. So that would be the target market for it, and it's a no. Well, if I then heard of people that used it that it genuinely was, yeah. then I would be. Would that change your mind? I'd, I'd need yeah. to see. See every, some proof. Yeah. Okay. Simple as that. Yeah. Interesting. Well, thank you. Yeah, probably yeah, well. same, as same as him, some proof on it. So we've got some data on the golf ball there and unfortunately it's very much like what we see from these other types of golf balls that are designed to go straighter. It has come up short to 260 yards of carry. I'm looking to normally carry it around about 285 to 290. So 25 to 30 yard drop is a significant drop in that carry distance. And the reason for that is that when we look at the spin number, we see that that is in the mid 3000s. So with this larger dimple structure, obviously dragging through the air more, it's gonna generate more spin, which means it's gonna stall thus, meaning that we get that shorter carry distance. So now we know what the distance is like. We know what they've been like with short irons and mid irons and what they're like chipping and putting. It's time for the ultimate test. How are these golf balls gonna perform with the driver finding the fairway? Now I'm gonna hit five shots that gives each ball 20% chance. Now, a PGA Tour Pro would hit roughly in the higher echelons of the 60% of fairways, around about 67, I think it is at the minute. I maybe would be 60, somewhere around there. So I'm expecting or hoping that we get a minimum of three golf balls on the fairway. This is to be seen. We're gonna do it now. Seventh hole here at Warrington, beautiful driving hole. Let's see if we can actually get the flight path tracer doing what it says and being consistently on the fairway. It was the worst strike I've had, but it's dead straight. That's missed the fairway, it's in the trees. But what is interesting, it was a dead straight ball flight. That is dead straight. That's catching the fairway, I think. That's another fairway. That's hardly moving. What's interesting is two golf balls are pretty much side by side now. One short with a miss hit, the other one's not far from it, but was a pull on my part. We've got three in the fairway now. There's my 60%. This last golf ball does it take it to 80%. So the Flight Path Tracer Golf Ball. When I saw it on Amazon, I was a little bit hesitant of it. Promising to deliver consistently straight shots is always a big, big promise. But do you know what? After testing it, I have been presently surprised. Four balls finished on the fairway there, 80% hit. The irons were good, it felt good with a wedge. Overall, I think it is a golf ball maybe that isn't going to solve all the problems but could be worth having a look at interesting to hear what the chaps were saying about it but flight path tracer i was pleasantly surprised by that overall let me know in the comments down below what you think of it if you have tried it and if you are going to try it leave a comment after watching this video and as well why not check out one of our other videos here to see some more reviews